Alrighty, this is the Shawasi Gunner here today. Um, I have on the bench my Taurus Tracker 44. Uh, the revolver is unloaded. And um, one thing I'm going to kind of talk about today is the river grip on Taurus firearms. Uh, a lot of people either love them or hate them. I don't think they're that uncomfortable uh, or anything like that. I don't think they look too bad. Um, but the idea behind them is you have lots of little ribs here that fold down, you know, to change your grip. Oh, out of focus there. Uh, so they, they do work pretty well, and they are squishy in the right spots. But some people don't like them. Um, for one thing, they tend to, some people say they're a little chunky. I've heard of people shaving these off too as well. Um, but one thing, a product I found online is a Hogue mono grip. So a pretty popular thing. I believe Ruger and Smith & Wesson use different Hogue products across their line. Um, I know the Super Red Hawks use a mono grip um, as well. So uh, this is the grip in question itself. Uh, the fit and finish, well they kind of have a, a pebble type grip pattern on it. And that pretty grippy. Uh, it's a little bit harder rubber than the actual river grip. Um, but another thing to note, it does have finger grooves. So, uh, as opposed to the river stock grips. Um, but it's a little chunkier in spots, like underneath the trigger guard, it's gonna be a little chunkier. A um, little thinner in spots, like right here, right underneath the tr trigger guard. Uh, so, I'll have to question it when it gets on. But overall sizing, dimensions of it, it's a little longer, a little thinner in spots here and there. Um, this does say it's for a Taurus Tracker revolver. So that includes, I guess I'll just say the model number is the 73000, uh, which includes the Tracker and Judge rubber mono grip. Um, oops, and it has a list of model numbers, which I think, funny enough, I don't even know if this one's on there per se. Uh, but yeah, so this would fit all your um, 22 mag Tracker series, 357, um, the judges, all of them are included into this. Uh, another thing it does come with is quick instructions, but if you can take the grip off, it's pretty easy to go ahead and put it on yourself. Um, so I already took out the old factory screw. It, uh, the model grip by Hogue does come with a new longer screw to accommodate the difference in length of the grip. So real quick. Take this. There's some magic there. Uh, go ahead and slip her on. One thing to note is it's really thin here. Oh, so it seems to roll around. So I just kind of rub my fingernail around that to try to flick it back. And um, there, now it has, it's sitting a little bit better there. So I'm gonna give it a good firm pressure to get it down. Okay, so you can see where the old uh, river grips sat before. Um, like I said, they're quite a bit different. It changes a lot of the geometries on the gun itself. Um, but let's go ahead and get the screw in. These are sometimes hard to start just because there can be little chunks of rubber down in there. And, uh, but once you get it going, it's pretty easy. You don't want to over tighten them, but you definitely want them snug. So that should be good enough. Uh, as far as fitment, it looks like a slight gap down here at the trigger guard, but not too bad. Everywhere else it seems to fit really well. Uh, but yeah, as far as in my hand, it feels very nice. I like the, the trigger grooves fit right where they need to. Um, doesn't really change the handling characteristics of the gun too much. And uh, everything's easy to reach, just like before. So yeah, I mean, if you don't like the rivers, uh, this mono grip seems to be a pretty good option. Uh, I do like the little harder rubber feels a little bit more durable, especially for using it as a woods gun, um, something like that. 
So, uh, yeah, I'd give it a look if uh, you're, you know, interested in it. Now I just got one of these sitting around. But it's good to have spares. So, but yeah, I'm going to definitely leave this on here. I, I like the way it looks. Um, to me, like I said, a lot of the Ruger revolvers carry um, some Hogue grips or I believe some Smiths do as well. So, uh, really kind of pops off and completes the look of the gun just by you know the grip alone just a nicer looking grip from from factory that being said uh if taurus ever decided to go the route of just hiring hogue to put these on you know get these and put them on their guns uh, from the get-go i would actually support that not that there's anything wrong with their you know the ones that they produce but um i just think it looks a little bit more professional a little bit nicer and uh, you know I would pay it probably for the manufacturer pricing on this is so cheap that I would pay $15 more for this gun just to have that, this grip on it versus this one um, but yeah so definitely changes the feel quite a bit in the gun um, I like it a lot and I'm definitely gonna be leaving it on there so all right thanks for watching